And with that, we welcome you to a raucous Slater Family Ice Arena here on the campus of Bowling Green University in Bowling Green, Ohio. Game two of this home and home series happening tonight from Slater Family Ice Arena between the Miami Red Hawks and the Bowling Green Falcons. It comes after the teams tied last night, two to two after the regulation three on three overtime in Oxford on Friday. Both teams just taking the ice right now. We're expecting a pretty full crowd inside Slater Family Ice Arena that sits around 4,000 people or so. The student section is filled up already. They've been pretty loud throughout the warm-ups even. Everybody showed up about 40 minutes before the game. They have remained and the general crowd is filling up as well. Let's join the in-arena public address for tonight's starting lineups and national anthem. started as a football equipment manager with legend Glenn Sharp before working with the hockey program when it first started as a club team. His love for the players, coaches, support staff, and fans was ever present, well beyond his 30 years of service. Fans, please join me in a moment of silence for Don Woods. Thank you. Back in fans, we ask that you please remain standing as we have our benefit, as well as those who will serve, those who are serving, or those who will be serving with the play of our national anthem.
a pretty loud atmosphere last night at Steve Cady Arena in Oxford. Tonight, the same as the series shifts to Slater Family Ice Arena on the campus of Bowling Green State University. Patrick gets you with you for this one tonight. Let's take a look at our starting goaltenders in this game. We start with Bowling Green. Zach Rose in the net again for the Falcons. Had a pretty good night last night. 6'1", 185, junior for Paradise, Newfoundland. 102 on the year, 1.88 goals against, and a 922 save percentage for Rose. Ludwig Pearson mans the Miami net for the second straight night as well. 6'1", 184, sophomore from Hindus, Sweden. 1-2-1 on the year as Pearson threw four starts. A 2.47, goals against average, 912, save percentage. Referees tonight from the CCHA, some familiar names. Timothy Likens will work. The referees call the penalties with the armbands on. He'll be with Steve McKinchak, longtime referee in the old CCHA as well. Jake Davis, Jeremy Lewis are the linesmen for this game tonight. Miami in the road red uniforms of Miami across the front in white. The white numbers are on the back. As far as Bowling Green goes, they're wearing their alternate home uniforms for their home opener. They're like a tan color with orange, neon orange, basically numbers on the back, BGSU diagonally across the front. Red Hawks move right to left across your radio here in our first period. The game is on as the puck dumped into the Bowling Green zone and the Falcons able to work it quickly out to center ice. Derek Dasky left point at the red line, copped it up for the Red Hawks. In over the Red Hawk line right wing, a shot there went off a body from Nathan Berg. It kicked back to the right point. Parker can't get it deep for BG. Here come the Red Hawks up the ice in a rush. Over the Falcon line right wing, a pass couldn't hit. Michael Greesock, Bowling Green, a four on two the other way. Over the Red Hawk line left wing, a shot and sent over the net by Austin Swankler. And here come the Red Hawks now over the Falcon line. Right wing, Grace Sock, and he scores! A wrist shot from the rim of the right circle near the hash marks. Goes into the top left corner of the net. There's actually more of a snapshot there by Grace Sock over the blocker side on Zach Rose. And just 38 seconds into our hockey game, Chase Grace Sock with his second goal of the year, his 28th. In a long time college career to put Miami up one to nothing. BG had that four on two the other way. They decided to just shoot it and went off the end boards hard back towards center ice where Greesock picked it up and had a pretty open lane to the net with just one BG defender back. As Bowling Green off there to center ice, Sherrill will enter the zone offside on the Red Hawk line, their left wing. Or neutralized Sherrill coming up 1907 to go in the first period. And it was the Red Hawks last night in Oxford that took a 2-0 lead. In the first game of this series, Bowling Green eventually tied it in the second period at 2-2. So scoring early has been accustomed by Miami so far in the year. Bowling Green will win this neutral ice draw, get it deep into the Miami zone. It was thrown into the zone by Sam Craggs, their assistant captain. Up here in the near corner of the zone, working it up the near wing boards is the Red Hawks. Barbellini made the effort as he will get it out towards center ice. Back in the BGN goes the puck. Falcons with it, far circle of their own zone. Sam Craggs, the chip through the center circle. It missed Collins' stick at the Red Hawk line right wing. They still get it in, though, and the puck stripped away by Taylor Schneider on a rush. Barbellini feeds Regish over the Bowling Green line left wing. He'll dump it into the near corner as the Red Hawks grab a change. Behind that coil for Bowling Green is just going to hold it and wait. A pass to the near side near the goal line for Ben Watson. He chips it to center ice. Up to Bowling Green right wing. Back to the Miami zone where Sennard, the backhand pass to the center ice red line. Right wing for Miami gets broken off the stick of Cassetti. A puck trickles back in the Red Hawks zone. Bowling Green keeps in a clearing attempt right point at the Miami line as Coyle rims it around the boards. Back behind the net. Falcons work it up to the left point for a shot there that came in off the stick of Wozni that it deflected wide. It goes back to the line. Coyle sends it purposely wide of the net for the right point. That goes hard off the end boards it back to center ice. Monty Graham chips it over the BG line right wing to the far corner of the Falcons zone. First to it is Coil for Bowling Green, can't get it out. Bad clearing, it's that Cassetti picks it off near circle of shot, big rebound. And Rose was there to get it with the glove, covered up P.J. Fletcher trying to come in and steal it away for the Red Hawks. And the clock stops with 17.43 to go in our first period and a 1-0 Miami lead. Drock coming to Zach Rose right in the BG net. Very hard to find an empty seat here at BGSU Ice Arena, the Slater Family Ice Arena, they call it. 
It is the Falcons home opener, just like the Red Hawks to their home opener last night. Offensive zone draw win for Miami. Daschke a blast from the center. The blue line got blocked and went all the way back into the Red Hawks zone behind their net. Jack Clement hit hard on a forecheck. They'll steal the puck away momentarily. Red Hawks will work it up the far half on their own end. With it on the puck was Gabriel Shaquan. Back to the line, a shot came in and it trickled off Pearson's pad in the near corner. They take away a rebound attempt. Plutsky with it there for Miami. They'll try to calm it down as BG changing some personnel here. Pass to the near circle, Miami zone. Plutsky will chip it to center ice. Parker right there to steal it away for BG. The cross corner dump in from the right side of the neutral zone goes behind the Miami net. Clement tries to wrap it around the high glass. The puck skips back to center ice where Bowling Green will regroup it, taken to their own end. Pass at the left wing, they're over the Red Hawk line on the left side where Red Savage steals a loose puck away far circle, Miami zone. It's kicked back to center ice again and Lloyd with it in the BG end. He'll chip it up the right wing at center ice. That pass missed Nathan Burke. It's chipped in it by Barry in the center circle back in the BG zone. And this one will trickle back to center ice. Red Hawks really not a strong forecheck there to keep it in. They'll send it back in for the center ice red line. Drasner. Rims it around the boards to the near half wall. Miss Barry stick. Dylan Moulton left point. Skating backwards keeps it in. Buck squirts to the near corner. Grabbing it there was Greasock. Working hard with Red Savage. Miami wins the battle. Savage tries a goal line drive to the net for the near corner. He was stripped to the puck. Bowling Green gets it back to the center circle, but it's into the Red Hawks' hands again. And on the BG line right wing against the half wall. Pin against the boards was Greasock. Let it go in the corner. Falcons start to rush the other way. And a 2-1-2 two -on -two in the other way over the Red Hawk line left wing. That is Schneider, Taylor Schneider. And he gets tripped up by Drasner through the far circle on the rush. We have a penalty call coming here against Miami with 15.52 to go in the first period. And Robbie Drasner picks up the tripping minor against Taylor Schneider for the first BG power play of the night. Fairly easy call there for the officials to make. So we will get the first power play in the game for either team. Draw coming up to the right of Pearson. Last night in the game, there were no power play goals scored. Bowling Green went 0 for 4 on the man advantage. They, of course, would like to correct that this evening. Clean went back in the offensive zone for the Falcons to the left point. They'll work it down the half wall, return it to the line. With a bunch of quad near circle, a shot by Swankler. Dish wide of the net. Rebound goes to the far corner. Falcons pick it up here. 145 to go in the power play. Shaquan center blue line, a pass to the left point. It was sent through the slot by Taylor Schneider to the near corner. Picked up by Swankler near half wall. The offense is over BG to the line. Shaquan wrister through traffic, got blocked down. He gets the rebound back, very high slot. And a one time by Shaquan was fed by Taylor Schneider. That got blocked as well by Barbellini stick. And he will clear all the way back behind the Falcon net. Red Hawks get a penalty kill change with 120 to go in the man advantage. The Drasner tripping minor. BG out of their own zone with a puck. Shaquan dishes backward to Nathan Burke. They're over the Red Hawk line, left wing offside. As Burke tried a fancy pass to Cole Norris. And he went over the line before the puck kind of passed a little bit behind him. Neutralized Surratt coming up on the Miami right wing, closest to their blue line with 109 to go in the power play. 15-01 to go in our first period. Monty Graham in this drop for Miami against Bowling Greens. Ethan Scardina, the sophomore forward. Buck is to for a clean BG win in the neutral zone. They'll work it back in their own end. TJ Lloyd, the left wing feed at the center ice red line. It crags over the Red Hawk line left wing. Dumps it in the far corner. First to it, Braided Krieger will pin it up behind the Red Hawk net. And Miami will work it free from there and spin it around the far boards out of the zone on a clear. And it goes back behind the BG net. Miami is still a four, four man penalty kill change as well. They'll get Fresh legs on the ice as well as BG works it out of their own zone. Here's Gardino over the Red Hawk line right away to O'Hare in the near circle trying to find a way that that didn't have one so he dished it back to the point. Lock it down the near boards with it for BG. That's Krieger. They'll work it around to the left point now. A shot came in. O'Hare off a stick in front over the high glass. It kicks back to the line from there. Lloyd right point with 22 to go on the power play. Far circle pass there for a shot that goes off the post. The snapper by Scardina. He'll pick up the rebound in the near corner. Skin it up the near half wall with 11 to go on the power play for BG. Scardina, left point, back to the line, Lloyd. Near circle, Krieger, set it in front, they score! And then wide open for the tip on the back door. I believe it was number 17. 
in Scardina. And the pass came for the near circle by Taylor Schneider. Scardina gets credit for the goal. And Schneider purposely set it toward the Miami net, the left post of it. And it was tipped in by Scardina right there with a the backhand. Pearson couldn't slide over from the right post in time. And we're tied at one in the late power play goal by BG. It comes with 13.54 to go in the first period. Miami gets the puck in the offensive end after the center ice draw. Barry with it below his own goal line, rims it around the far half wall. Drasner picks it up right point, spins it off the high glass, back to the near half wall. BG grabs it there in their own end. As Burke, the backhand left to center ice over the Red Hawk line left wing, the dump and attempt behind it. That came from Adam Pitters. Back to the right point is Parker for BG. His shot purposely wide then on the ice, looking for a tip there, never got one. And it's Barry who picks it up, flings it out to center for Miami. Resock picks it up, center circle, rims it around the boards behind the BG net. Five man change for the Red Hawks as the Falcons here try to stretch it up the ice. Coming over the Red Hawk line on the left wing, that's Christopher Collin in the lineup tonight, did not play last night. Gets the puck to the near half wall, Daly pinches in for the right point to keep it in for BG. They have a battle here in the near half wall, Miami zone, and Red Hawks work it out to center ice. Barbalina to Ryan Savage, he'll dump it in over the BG line right wing. The puck Circles around the boards to the near corner where Daly with a backhand D to D pass below the goal line for Malmstrom. Sent toward the near side of the ice where it's Garrett Daly trying to work it up that right wing. He does so. Schneider near circle. The offensive zone for BG. A shot padded away by Pearson. Another loose one in front that took a weird bounce. And Craggs couldn't get his stick on that. Taylor Schneider near corner. Bowling Green offensive end. Back to the line. Malmstrom a rip. And Pearson right there with a bread basket save on a point blank chance. Coming in for the left point, Malmstrom with the snapshot. Tell you what, this sheet of ice always has moved fast. It's later Family Ice Arena, and this game no exception. 12.29 to go in our first period, already tied at one in this hockey game for Bowling Green, and you're listening to Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Media timeout finishes up with 12.29 to go in our first period here for Slater Family Ice Arena. Patrick Eschen with you. Game two of this home and home series between Miami and Bowling Green. In-state rivals battling it out here tonight after a tie last night and we have a tie of this game so far, one to one. BG an offensive zone face off win. They get it in on net for the slot. Good shot there by Seth Fighton was fought off by the shoulder of Pearson. It's kept into the BG offensive zone, the puck to the near corner. Falcons were trying to work it up the near half wall. Scardina was on it. Puck takes a weird deflection to the left point. And Ben Wozni is shot. Great pad save by Pearson again as the puck deflects off that to the near corner. Red Hawks won a battle there. They can't get it out. They turn it over. Coyle right point. A hard wrist shot in that's clubbed down by Pearson. And a much needed stoppage of play for Miami with 11.56 to go in the first period. So the Red Hawks have had some pretty good offensive zone time in the game so far, but in the last couple of minutes or so, it's been really all BG. And Miami's been running around in the D zone. Not too good of a look for the Red Hawks these last couple of minutes. Draw to the left of Pearson. Daskus wins it back cleanly for the Red Hawks. And they get it back behind the net. Here's Drazer with it off the far boards. Right way at center ice. Olmstead can't ship it over the BG line. Miami was delayed offside after it took a weird deflection off Daskus skate, they'll tag up, puck back to center, Daskus gloves down a BG pass, Olmstead over the Falcon line right away, Pletsky a shot near circle, and a great glove save by Rose, on a very quick developing play, Rose came out of the blue paint right there to Rob Pletsky of a goal. Olmstead made a nice play to get it over the BG line on the right side after the Daskus Gonna glove down a pass there from the BGN and then Pletsky joining the rush with his speed from the left wing. But Rose right there to make the save. 
Miami offensive zone draw, they'll win it to the near half wall. Bowling Green wins a battle there as Parker stripped the puck free. He'll get it up the left wing boards where it's played out of the zone by Norris back to center ice. Miami with a puck in their own end. Drazner the far side feed. Pletsky over the BG line right away. We'll walk it down the half wall, dump it in back behind the Falcon net. Bowling Green works it up the near wing boards. Nathan Burke though can't get the pass off the stick of Parker. As Bowling Green and Miami battle for it here. Three against three on the near half wall of the BG zone. Falcons win that, get it out to center ice. Up the left wing, shift over the Red Hawk line. Down the boards, Cole Norris gets it behind the Miami net. And he's going to win this four check battle. A pass in front. Nathan Burke right there, got a fan on the shot. Kept in at the line by Lloyd, right point. He'll walk it down to the corner. Burke a pass, broken up off his stick near circle. Of the Miami end of the Red Hawks to center ice with the puck. Greesock over the BG line right away. A pass too far in front of Red Savage. Far circle. Bowling Green will work it to the near side of their zone. And back to center ice. There's a bomb here for the Miami line. Went off a stick of Austin Swankler. Nailed Andrew Sinard's stick. The D-man on the rush deflected in the near side of the Miami zone. Red Hawks back to center ice again. Red Savage pokes it over the BG line left wing. Lost into the corner. He kind of blew an edge. Colin there can't clear. Far circle. Greysock a chance. And they will score. The shot went off the shoulder of Rose. It went behind him. He tried to save the bouncing puck. That was on its way to the net through the blue paint, but never could. And the puck barely across the line for a Miami goal after a BG turnover in their own end. And Chase Greesaw gets the tally for Miami, his second goal of the season. I think Bowling Green is trying to clear that puck out of their zone on the far side. But Greesaw was in the far circle right there the breakdown the pass and he got it at the far face off dot a wrist shot that went off the shoulder of Rose it trickled behind him he didn't know it the puck kind of moving around that blue paint ever so slowly toward the net the referee Steve McKinchak right there covering the play deep initially signaled that it was in the net for a goal nobody really touched it as it was fluttering down there the Red Hawks obviously were celebrating thinking that they scored it but this play is going to be under review. So they are stepping into the penalty box to take a look. If the goal stands, it would give Miami the 2-1 lead here with 10-11 to go in the first period. I've not seen a replay of this yet. It all happened so quick, and Rose was kind of blocking my angle of looking at the puck over the goal line. I really couldn't see what happened. If it went in or not definitively, and it was such a close play that very hard to tell from up here, top row at center ice. And if you're breaking down this first 10 minutes of the first period for Miami, you've certainly seen a good amount of offense. You could argue though that there is a two minute stretch there with 13 or 14 minute mark where Miami just was not having it in the defensive zone. They were running around like their heads were cut off, but it kind of regained control here these last few minutes. And then we'll get our call as the helmets are on in the penalty box for the referees. The ref mics are not working tonight. It's the maiden voyage of those in the CCHA this year, and it is a good goal. They say to Miami, the putt crossed the line, and the Red Hawks take the 2-1 lead with 10-11 to go in the first period. Crown doesn't like it, but Chase Greesock does. He gets credit for Miami on his wrist shot, second of the year for Greesock. I'm sorry, I beg your pardon. He scored the first goal, so it's his third of the year and his 29th of his career. So it's the two goal night tonight for Chase Greesock. I beg your pardon. Miami with the offensive zone puck possession here. They want the center ice draw. They'll dump it near corner of the BGN. Puck trickles around to the far side now. Savage hits it up to the right point. Clement, a high wrister off the glass above the net. Works its way to the near side. Fights and gets it out for BG. Scardina over the Red Hawk line, middle of the ice. The puck was poked off his stick by Clement. BG will spin it around to the offensive zone in the near corner where it will be worked out by Miami to center ice. Pick it up there was Ben Wozni for BG. From his line, he dumped it into the Miami zone. They wave off the icing though. BG had enough personnel in the area. And here's Barbellini with it through center ice left wing for Miami. Over the BG line, who's gonna let this thing flicker around to the corner as Parker stripped it off his stick. Back to the far side, Falcons here will work it out through center ice. Tipped in center ice red line for the left wing behind the Red Hawk net by TJ Lloyd. 
Buck works its way to the near corner where Bowling Green here will fight and scrap on the four check to win it back in the offensive end. Parker a shot, right point off the pad of Pearson. The rebound out of the reach of O'Hare who couldn't pick it up. He chased it to the far corner. Redhawks working out from there to center ice where BG regroups in the neutral zone. Parker's pass to the center circle off the stick of Bonnie Graham and that messed up the BG zone entry as they are offside going into the Miami zone of the ice. Gives us immediate timeout and a stoppage. 8.55 to go in our first period. A 2-1 Miami lead now for Bowling Green as Greasock with his second of the game. And that's where we stand so far. We're back in a moment to Slater Family Ice Arena. You're listening to Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Patrick gets you back with the Slater Family Ice Arena. Bowling Green, Ohio on the campus of Bowling Green State University. 2-1 Miami lead in this hockey game. Game two of a home-and-home -home series with the Falcons for the Red Hawks. Miami up by a goal here as we are just past the halfway point of period number one. Buck squirts to the near half on the BG zone after a neutralized face-off win for the Falcons. They'll get into the Miami end momentarily before it's kicked out up the left wing by Cassetti. Lloyd at his own end for Bowling Green, a right wing feed past Nathan Burke down the ice for an icing call against the Falcons. Burke was standing at the Miami line right wing trying to corral that puck and a pass up the boards by Lloyd, couldn't touch it. And the draw coming back to the Bowling Green zone to the left of Rose. 8.35 to go in our first period. So good to have bands back in the stands. Can't tell you how much people miss that. People just talking about it around here and around the rinks we've been to this year, it's been pretty nice to have bands back. You don't realize how much you miss it until it went away. Caps that got blown up in the neutral zone. The arms stay down. Bowling Green now within their own end as Lloyd trying to home run pass all the way down the ice. Didn't hit anybody. And other icing on BG. Speaking of bands, Bowling Green band always does a great job. Red Hawk band was good to hear last night. So some bad defensive zone puck handling here by Bowling Green these last couple of minutes. A pair of icing calls by them in the last 15 seconds. Sets up a draw to the right of Rose in the Miami offensive zone. Near circle, Red Savage. Clean win back to the left point. Capstick to Barry near half wall. Cross ice look to the right point for Sennard. His shot immediately blocked down. Nice job there by Norris and Bowling Green to get in the way of that. But it deflects back in the Miami offensive end. Near corner, a race for the puck. Burke beats Red Savage for it. Burke trying to work it up the near half while Red Hawks giving him trouble until Bowling Green does so finally. Swankler over the Red Hawk line right away. Fires a wide shot, top of the near circle. Deflects back behind the net to the near corner. Here's Collin on it for Bowling Green. The steal away though by Capstick in that near corner on a battle. He let it go for Sinard. And this one turnover again in the circle, but this time Miami back to rescue it as Capstick swollen away from Swankler again. Puck back to center ice. Right wing, Greasock on the BG line. We'll give it up for Red Savage. Can't win the race in the circle against Eric Parker. Squirts back to the near corner. Schneider lifts it up the near wing side for Bowling Green out to center ice. Red Hawks regroup here in the neutral zone. Colbert, right wing, dumps it over the BG line around the boards to the near corner. Matt Berry is on it. The backhand shovel pass trying to get it deep. It was picked off by Schneider. And here's Wazdy with it behind the BG net. Ben Wazdy, the left side feed over the Red Hawk line, left point, Crags. Back to Taylor Schneider, top of the far circle. It was stripped off his stick by Ryan Savage. Bowling Green, the neutral zone regroup, and he'll dump it over the Red Hawk line, right wing, with a full five man change, and it goes behind the Miami net. Well, that first to it will springboard a pass at the right wing. It's dumped in there by the Red Hawks' Barbellini, and he kind of copped it up, going down the far boards in the Miami offensive zone. It, Took a weird deflection off his stick up and out of play. So the draw, they say, will stay in the Bowling Green zone here with 6.46 to go in our first period, and it's coming to the left of Zach Rose.
Michael Regas takes it for Miami. He's going to win it forward, back behind the Bowling Green net, where the Falcons quickly work it out to center ice. Up the right wing, that was Krieger who got it out on a pass to fight in. They dump it in to the near corner of the Miami end where it's picked up near circle by Regas. Springboards Barbellini up the left wing, dumps it center ice red line in behind the Bowling Green net. Falcons first to it as Jaquan get on the puck for Bowling Green. They'll work it up the far side boards back to center where it's in the hands now of Miami and Robbie Drazer. They'll go to the with Dasky. Drazer now right side of the Miami zone will hit Barbellini in a pass right side of the center ice red line. That was deflected behind the Bowling Green net. Falcons here almost turn it over on their own blue line. A pass that came from below the goal line by Shaquan. He was trying to hit O'Hara, I believe, on the near side of the center ice red line. Right wing for BG, the cross ice look. Fletcher came in, a diving attempt to pick it off right at the line and keep it in the zone. Was unsuccessful, they call the offside against Miami. Good effort though by Fletcher, who came in just a hair late. Neutral ice went for Bowling Green. They win it back to Lloyd, who fired it off the linesman's helmet. So the puck went back into BGN. They have to work it up the ice again. They're over the red hawk line right away. The puck to the corner. Spencer Schneider works it behind the net. Where Molten battles down there with Bowling Green's Ryan O'Hara. The battle goes to the far corner. O'Hara strips it free. Back to the line. Right point Lloyd will spin it around the boards behind the red hawk net. Drazner first to it on a poke. Then it's stolen away by Spencer Schneider. Back to the left point, sent back in by Malmstrom. He's going to work this one back below the goal line for the Red Hawks. Molten has it tied up there against the end boards with Ryan O'Hare, and they blow the play then as it came off a skate in on Pearson, who just covered it up with 5.27 to go in the first period. It is a packed house in Bowling Green tonight. Uh, gets home opener. They are not ranked nationally to come into this series this week in the USCHO pool. They received votes in it, the Falcons did. Miami did not receive any votes last week at the USCHO pool. Only Green will win his face off to the right side of Pearson, a shot from the line by Lloyd, deflected off a body and out of play, and we'll have another offensive zone drop coming up for BG with 5.20 to go in the first period. This is to the left of Ludwig Pearson in the Miami net. Shots at this moment. If I'm reading this correctly, are led by Bowling Green, 10 to 7. Face off went for Miami in their own end. Sinard spun it around the near wing boards, but it's picked off by Nathan Burke from the near corner. Centering feed went off. Sinard skates, blocked that down. Sinard trips up Burke in the corner. The arms will stay down. Kind of accidental there. And a battle ensues in that corner. Sinard trying to go up against Austin Swankler. It goes back to the BG line as the Miami line there could not keep the puck in where the Falcons at the Miami line. So it's Malmstrom at his own end for BG. Works it up the right wing boards through center ice. Burke over the Falcon line, or the Red Hawk line rather, right wing. As it's back to the right point for Coyle. Offensive zone possession here for BG. He'll spin it off the near boards, the high glass, back behind the Miami net. Dask is there trying to close off Swankler on a battle. It goes back to the far half wall. Top of the far circle, a shot there. Bouncing puck came in by the D-man Wozni. Goes back behind the Red Hot cage. 4.25 to go in the first period. Clement and Daskus in an end board battle for Miami. The puck squirts out in front of the net. Miami there with it as Pletsky the first to it. That time a dangerous play. He lift it out through center ice back in the BG zone where it's Wozni to pick it up for the Falcons. He'll send it up the left wing at center ice. Picked off there by Drazner. He's over the BG line right away. Kind of missed playing the puck though. Has to chase it to the corner. And with it behind the net now is Chase Greesock. He's in a battle. He got twisted down on the ice by Max Coyle. Near half wall, Red Savage. Pins it back behind the net. To the far half wall, picked up there by Sam Craggs. Lifts it back over the Red Hawk line left wing. The rush though breaks up for BG, and it's Dylan Moulton with it for Miami. Near side of his own end, goes back for Drazer, his D partner. Goes off the far boards, back in the BG zone. Falcons here, first to it, they'll regroup, but they can't get it out cleanly either until a second try does so. Up the left wing at center ice, but then stripped away by Barry. He's over the Falcon line right wing. That puck off the stick of Shaquan, who came in on defense to steal it away. And Shaquan will just take it back behind the BG net and the safety of that. This to the near side, calling at the half wall, would chip it off the boards, kind of a slam play to get it to center. It went off the very low ceiling here at Slater Family Ice Arena. And a stoppage will generate immediate timeout here from Bowling Green with 3.12 to go in our first period. 2-1 Miami on top. 
Not a whole lot of offense these last few minutes, but the Red Hawks will take it. They have the one goal lead, and you're listening to Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Offense is on draw coming up for the Red Hawks with 3.12 to go. In our first period, it comes to the right of Zach Rose in a bowling green win. They're down 2-1, the Falcons are. Also will spin it back behind the Miami net here on a dump and a tap. Sinar near side caps the D to D feed below the Miami goal line, kicks to center ice. Riga showing the Falcon line left wing and a clear offside there by Barbellini. He's trying to argue the call, but he has no argument whatsoever. He was two steps over the blue line. So the rush there will stop via that for the Red Hawks. Here's Wayne Strong coming up on the Bowling Green. Right wing closest to their blue line. It'll be Bonnie Graham in it for Miami against Ryan O'Hara. Warning issue to Bonnie Graham. He jumped ahead. The second faceoff attempt is good. Red Hawks working in the neutral zone on a regroup. They'll chip it back behind the BG net. That was Clement who did that. Rose behind his net out to play it. Will trickle it around the boards to the far half wall. Great forecheck by the Red Hawks here to steal it away. Fletcher to the far corner for Graham. A bad centering play in front. Kicks off his skate back to center ice. Or it's Clement right wing at center to rim it around the boards to the near side of the Miami offensive zone. Cassetti to it in the circle. Can't get it out. Up to the point as the puck trickling around the near circle. Red Hawks hit it back though. Graham, a centering pass went to him in the slot. The bouncing puck could not be calmed down. It trickles to the far half wall while Bowling Green is going to work it out. As Spencer Schneider trying to go up that left wing. Closed off there was Conquest. The player the puck was intended to. And it's in the near corner of the Miami zone. Fletcher works it up that left wing past the stick of Monty Graham. Stealing it away is out of Conquest for Bowling Green. He'll dish it back here to Max Coyle. Goes cross ice over the Red Hawk line, left wing Norris, wide open look, top of the far circle and going down on one knee. On the rush was Clement, it went off his shoulder, up and out of play and that was lucky because otherwise I don't think Pearson would have seen that shot. Clement goes down on one knee there to block that attempt in the rush. Off his shoulder, out of play. 155 to go, first period, draw coming up to the right of Pearson. We have Taskis in it for Miami against Swankler at Bowling Green. It's a win to the far half wall for the Red Hawks, but they turn it over. Bowling Green with it. Kowal Norris in the far corner. He's pinned up against the boards by Moulton. Battle ensues from that. Reinforcements come in from both teams to make it a three on three battle. It's kicked free off his skate into the far circle. Bowling Green back to the line. Here's a shot. Wozni, the wrister there, goes off the high glass, kicks back off the Miami net, and it triples its way to center ice on a Red Hawk clear for the right wing by Moulton. Bowling Green grabs it at the red line. They'll send it right back in the zone. Molten it hard in the near corner by Nathan Burke. Puck squirts over to the far side of the ice. Slot it, can't get it. A fiend to Pletsky out of the Miami zone. They turn it over. Burke near circle, a backhand shot. And it's not even gonna reach the net. The puck goes to the corner. Another try came in there from Norris. That went wide. Bowling Green goes back to the line. Left point, a wrister in. That went off the body of Shaquan in front. It trickles back to the circle at center ice where Bowling Green will turn it right back over to Miami with less than a minute to go in the first period. Over the line right away, Daskis can't get the puck off Shaquan's stick as Shaquan stripped it off him during the rush for Miami. It's kicked back to center ice where Capstick from his own end goes cross ice into the PG zone. Greasock there to beat out the icing in the far corner. Taken away from him by Daly. Bowling Green trying to get it out. They will to center ice. Puck there is passed over to Sam Craggs. Over the Miami line left wing. Goes to the far corner. He was angled off well by Sinard. It goes to the near side now as a centering pass off his skate to there. And it's Capstick rushing it up the ice near the near side of the zone at center. Now a breakaway. Schneider near circle with a puck. He's shot it over the net. 
And it's to the far corner where Greysock picks it up there for Miami. Listen to set race. In on the BG net. Rose will play it back behind the cage. Picked up there by Lloyd with five seconds to go. Fights it on it over the Red Hawk line right away to the near circle with less than a second left. They will not get a shot off from that. Back and forth they went in the first 20 minutes from Slater Family Ice Arena in Bowling Green. Very fun period to watch, and the Red Hawks come out as the leaders in it by a score of 2-1. to one. What is a very full crowd tonight here at Slater Family Ice Arena. They are certainly into it at times when Bowling Green is playing well. And at the end of the day, Red Hawks leading after this first period again by just a goal, and both of the goals in this game for Miami scored by Chase Grisak. So let's take a look at our numbers here. After one period of play from Slater Family Ice Arena in Bowling Green. Shots on goal in that first period were led by Bowling Green, eight to four. There really weren't a whole lot of shots and I guess maybe they took some off because of video replays. So at the end of the day, at the end of the period, Bowling Green leading the shots after 20 minutes by an eight four count. Power plays, Bowling Green one for one. They did get that one opportunity on a Drasner tripping minor and the Falcons were able to score a power play goal off that. Miami had no power play opportunities in that first period. In terms of the faceoffs, Bowling Green barely winning the faceoff count in that first 20 minutes by an 11 to 10 margin. Blocked shots, Miami led those by a 3-2 count. And then the penalty minutes, Red Hawks leading that department. Two penalty minutes to Bowling Green's none. And so that's where we are for 20 minutes of play here from Slater Family Ice Serena. Let's take a look at our scoring summary in that first period of play. It got started just 35 seconds into the first period with Chase Kresok. Had a beautiful snapshot from the far circle of the Miami offensive zone. It was in a goal that was assisted by one player in Red Savage. Again, that came 35 seconds in to give Miami the 1-0 lead. We were tied at one, 6-0-2 into the period after Bowling Green scored late in that power play in the tripping minor I mentioned to Robbie Drasner. Ethan Scardina on the power play, assisted by Braden Krieger and TJ Lloyd. That tied the game at one, again, 6-0-2 into the first period. And then 9-49 into the first period, the goal that had to be reviewed, Chase Kresok had the shot again for the far circle in the Miami offensive zone, it went off the shoulder of Zach Rose, the Bowling Green goaltender, kind of trickled behind him, barely into the net. They called it a good goal after the review. And Grisak with his second goal of the game, his third of the year for Miami. That goal came unassisted, they say, again, 9.49 into our first period of play. So we kind of expected these games this weekend to be more defensively minded. We've seen a lot of offense in this game tonight. You could argue last night was pretty defensively minded as well. And so we will see what happens here, what adjustments either side makes after 20 minutes here from Slater Family Ice Arena in Bowling Green, Ohio. It's certainly a great atmosphere showing up for this in-state rivalry game, and we expect that atmosphere to stay with us throughout the rest of this contest as it appears it will be a very close contest here from Bowling Green tonight. So 2-1 the Miami lead after our first period of play. We'll have about 12 more minutes of intermission time to kill before we're back with you for period number two of action. So rejoin us here in about 12 minutes or so through this first intermission for the second period between Miami and Bowling Green and a 2-1 lead for the Red Hawks here from BGSU. We're back in a moment. You're listening to Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio, our first intermission.
Dave's take the ice back out for period number two of play. Here in game two of two of this series between Miami and Bowling Green. Home and home that completes tonight. Inside Slater Family Ice Arena on the campus of Bowling Green State University. The Boos are for Miami taking the ice. As both teams use the same door here at Slater Family Ice Arena to get on and off the ice. So Bowling Green goes first. And then Miami comes second to their bench. And so the Red Hawks entering here and we'll get the second period started momentarily. Again, a 2-1 Miami lead after 20 minutes. They'll try to defend that lead here in the second period in front of a sellout crowd at Slater F Family Ice Arena tonight. And a very loud one at that inside this very old time barn. A lot of people used to describe it. Just one of those old college hockey venues that's been around for a long time. That's a lot of character. Just so always fun to come to a game at Bowling Green. So Miami moves left to right across your radio here in the second period. So Ludwig Pearson is to my left. Red Savage in the center ice draw with Ethan Scardina to get us underway in the second frame. But before that, a little bit of a delay. Players still getting set up. And then we'll finally drop the puck to get the second underway. Buck goes to the far side. Derek Dasky works it over the BG line left wing. Quickly taken over by the Falcons. TJ Lloyd across ice pass to Krieger. Left wing center ice red line. Red Hawks get control of that. They'll quickly dump it back behind the BG net. Lloyd spins it around the board to the far half. Well, tripping up on it there with Seth Fighton. It's worked back to the far circle. TJ Lloyd the D&D feed for Anton Malmstrom. Works it to center ice. Red Hawks grab possession here as Dasky stole away a loose puck off a stick. He'll take it back in the Miami zone here, kind of regroup. The near wing feed to Moulton, who skates it back through neutral ice. He's going to rim this one off the Miami bench. Near side of the ice goes into the other corner of the Bowling Green zone, far side. Falcons pick it up there, work it to center, where Robbie Dresner picks up a loose puck back in his own end for the Red Hawks. He'll find Red Savage still in the Miami zone. A minute into our second period. Over the line, left wing is Barry. The PG line to Greasock, far circle. He was stripped up, and the arms stay down. Moulton with it, left point, Miami O zone. Back to Barry, now right point, Drazner, his shot off a skate through the near circle, kicks back to the neutral zone off that, and Miami will regroup with a puck in their own end here. Barry, a pass through center ice, really to nobody, that was a bad decision there. He trying to get it through two Falcons. BG works it back in the offensive zone on the dump and gets a long change. Here's Moulton, right side of the center ice red line, and dump it in behind the Falcon net, throws out to play it. Up the near wing boards where it's grabbed here and up the left side of the ice it's center. Swankler, he's over the Red Hawk line, cuts to the middle. Swankler back to the line, a weird shot there through traffic. Went over the net by Parker. Work back to the left point for Shaquan. He will turn it over to Ryan Savage, high the zone, rush the other way for Miami. Savage over the BG line, left wing to the middle. Barbellini with stick check back to Ryan Savage. His shot over the net. We got a call cut up here against Bowling Green. On the plate of Barbellini. Sinard left point, rips it over the net on a wrist shot. Back to the near side for Regis at the half wall. He'll turn it over the corner. The touch up made by Shaquan. And the first power play of the game coming to the Red Hawks for holding against Bowling Green. And they are going to take number 14 and 10. That's Cole Norris. Well, as. Barbellina was scanning down the far side of the offensive zone for Miami in the circle. He was stick checked pretty hard by Norris and I guess grabbed onto according to the referee. Noticeably enough that Barbellini was knocked free forcibly from the puck and that is a call. So again, a Miami power play for the first time tonight. Red Hawks were 0 for 3 last night on the man advantage. Clean offensive zone draw win to the right point. Dasky to the Near half wall for Grease Soccer turns to Dasky center blue line. Far circle Perry. Back to the line. Dasky center of the blue line. His rip wide of the net. Right on a wrist shot. Grease Sox spins it around the boards to the far half wall. Perry on in the circle. Off the boards in direct. Finds Dasky left point. Slides it across the blue line. Right point. Grease Sox works in. Kicks it back to the line and it went past the stick of Dasky. And picked up here by Barry through center ice. So Matt Berry regroups over the BG line left wing with 125 to go on the power play. Right point with a puck, Greesock grabs control, walks it down the near half wall, lost control, and Bowling Green clears it up the Miami bench. Little rush the other way, Taylor Schneider dishes left wing over the Miami line as Craggs, and a nice stick there by Dasky as the wrist shot by Craggs, top of the near circle, went off Dasky's stick, 
up and out of play with 17.05 to go in the second period. 112 left in the Miami power play. And a defensive zone draw coming up here for the Red Hawks. It's kind of nasty turnovers there by Miami in the offensive zone during this power play. So it's to the right of Pearson. Cassetti in it for the Red Hawks. I believe Ethan Scardina for Bowling Green. Clean win Miami. And they'll try to get it out of their zone here again on the power play. Bolton with it through the far circle. Miami zone finds Fletcher. Cross ice feet. Daskus over the BG line right wing. Through the circle. Trying to center it in front. Went off his skate. Looking for Fletcher coming down the left wing. Buck here in the near half wall. Kind of contesting. BG gets to it first. They work it out back to center ice. Pearson in the near corner of the Miami zone out to play it. They go behind the net for Molten. Nearly turned it over. Nice job though by Daskus to come in and swoop it away. as a hard four check there by TJ Lloyd. Bit of a trouble for Miami in the far circle of their zone. Moulton over the BG line, left wing through the far circle. He trips up along with Ben Wozni. They crash in the far corner. No calls coming here as Bowling Green able to strip free this loose puck. Work it down the ice with 22 seconds left. And the Miami man advantage. Behind his net, Clement takes a breath. Both teams changing personnel. Jack Coleman is going to race this up through center ice. Hits a pass to Cassetti on the right wing of the BG line. And Joey Cassetti was about an inch over the blue line when he caught the pass for an offside call against the Red Hawks. And we're going to get a neutralized draw here back toward the Miami line of things with nine seconds to go on a minor penalty to Cole Norris of Bowling Green for holding. And 16.03 to go here in our second period. Taylor Schneider in this draw with Monty Graham. Two face-off warnings issued before they drop it. Schneider clean win back to the center ice circle. Contested puck. That is won by Capstick. Feeds Graham over the BG line left wing. Graham opens up the Pletskia. Weird shot there. High slot. It coming in was Graham off the end boards. Picked up the puck. He was tripped in front of the net, but no call. I think Bowling Green is going to get this one deep in their offensive zone as the time expires of the power play. We're back to five on five. With it right point, BG offensive zone, misplaying it was Eric Parker. Back to the far half while Miami in. As it is Sinard, a long stretch feet ahead, got barely tipped off a Bowling Green stick. Otherwise, Olmstead would have had a breakaway there. It's rimmed around back to center ice after BG got control in their own zone and is back in the Miami end where Dasky picks it up behind the Red Hawk net. Feeds it back to neutral ice. Here's Barry over the BG line, left wing. Hits the break, circles around near the left point. Stuck off his stick there by... Chris Collin back to center ice where it's loose in the circle. Red Savage dumps it in from the red line and will get it behind the BG net. First to it, TJ Lloyd of the Falcons. Turns on the Jets to the near circle of his zone, works it to center ice. Left wing at the red line, Krieger just cleanly sweeped to the puck there by Barry. Clement works it back to the far half wall for Dasky to the near corner. Here's Clement. Jack Clement, cross ice feed, left side Barry went behind him in the neutral zone. Lloyd back with it in the BGN. Will feed it forward to Dasky here, high slot. A blind indirect pass picked off by Krieger. BG in front, a pass there that completely missed the stick of Schneider who was wide open in front. And the Falcons regroup in the neutral zone and work it right back on a dump and a tip there by Malmstrom. Red Savage in his own end, feeds it middle of the ice. Dasky joins the rush over the Falcon line right wing. Down the near side, in the corner, spins around. The near corner of Miami offensive zone. To the line, Ryan Savage, a shot, he scores! What a rip by Ryan Savage from the right point. Faked it off the left post, past Rose on the blocker side. And Ryan Savage continues the great offensive play this season for Miami. His third goal of the year, and it gives the Red Hawks a 3-1 to -one lead with 14-13 to go in the second period. Nothing fancy about that play at all. Dasky got it deep. Ryan Savage covered on the point for the defenseman in Dasky. They got it back to the line, and Ryan Savage just a clean wrist or snapshot that flew through the traffic from the right point, banked off the left post into the net pass Rose. And a two-goal Miami lead, the largest lead they've had, or tied for the largest lead they've had in the series. Between these two games this weekend with Bowling Green. Less than 14 minutes to go in the second period. And the Red Hawks three, Bowling Green one. Bucket center ice. As Barbellini chips go the Falcon line left wing to Ryan Savage again. Far circle. Savage hits the brakes to the far corner. Works it back up the boards. We got a penalty coming up on Bowling Green. 
back to the right point. The pass to Trazner, he'll shoot it wide of the net. Kicks off the end board to the far corner, touched up there by the Falcons. And Ryan O'Hara, I'm not sure what this penalty is, they say elbowing against the Falcons. And so after Miami gets the goal from Savage to take a two goal lead in the game, they're gonna go right back to the power play here. It's gonna be their second power play of the night for an elbowing whistle against Bowling Green's Max Coyle. That happens when we come back. Red Hawks to the man advantage. 13.32 to go in the second period. 3-1 Miami from Bowling Green. And this is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Patrick gets you back with you here for a BGSU Ice Serena. Bowling Green, Ohio, that is a 3-1 Miami lead here with 13.32 to go in our second period. Power play chance of coming for Miami, a two minute minor is shoot a max coil for elbowing. And the Red Hawks here who are 0 for 1 in the power play tonight will try to get another shot and score a goal to go up by three. But Bowling Green wins the draw to the left of Rose. Quickly get it back deep in the Miami zone to open up the power play for the Red Hawks. who we'll regroup and get it middle of the ice. Three soccer with the BG line right away. That's Ryan Savage, high slot area pass with room to shoot. He does so, went off a body in front, went to the far circle. Dasky was stripped there. It's cleared all the way up the right wing off a of Bowling Green stick. Taylor Schneider did that. And it's back behind the net. And Pearson here with 1.30 to go in the Red Hawk power play. Barry skates it out of his own end for Miami over the BG line, middle of the ice, right wing dish to Ryan Savage, hits the brakes right point, will spin it around the boards to the near half wall, Barry there, gives it back to Ryan Savage. Barry right point, the return feed, center blue line, Dasky, far circle, Greasock, a bomb that went blocked off shin guards, Bowling Green takes control there, the easy clear down the ice, Seth Fighton gets it behind Pearson's net with a 102 to go in the power play for Miami. Bolton near corner of his own end for the Red Hawks, trying to spin off the penalty kill four checker in fights it. Red Hawks left wing over the BG line. Here's Red Savage. He was kind of upended there in the far half wall. Gets it back to the line though in Molten. Now right point, Dresner. Or snapshot into the glove of Rose just above his left pad. With 12-18 to go in the second. And 46 seconds to go in the power play for Miami. The third Miami goal of this game was scored by Ryan Savage. It's his third goal of the season. Assists were given to Derek Dasky and his brother, Red Savage. It came 547 into our second period. Draw to the left of Rose. Cassetti in it for Miami against Ethan Scardina of Bowling Green. One to the left point. Red Hawks with it here in the offensive end. Molten a shot. Went off Rose's shoulder. Bounced in front and then was sent to the far half wall off a of BG stick. Goes to the left point for Molten. Right point to Razzer. Near a half wall, the give and go feed with Red Savage. Drasner, middle of the blue line, back to Red Savage, near circle. Drasner, center blue line with it again. The wrist shot in, big pat save. The rebound to the far circle. Molten hangs on to it for the Red Hawks. Kicks it back to the line. Drasner, top of the near circle is Red Savage. Goes back to Drasner. He fakes a slap shot, walks in more. Over to the right point. Near circle, Red Savage with the puck. It was poked off his stick by Fighton to the near corner, but not out for Bowling Green. Drasner down the near half wall to the near corner of the Miami offensive zone. He was stripped to the puck, trying to be cute with it. The power play expires, near circle, offensive zone, Bowling Green will score! As Coyle came out of the box and out of the middle of nowhere to get the puck and fire it past Pearson. The power play quickly was winding down. The puck was cleared at the right moment for Bowling Green up the near wing of the ice. And coming from the far side of the ice in the penalty box was Max Coyle, who got that elbowing call the game Miami the power play. Coyle picked up a loose contested puck in the near circle of the Miami zone, and he fired a snapshot past the blocker side of Pearson in the net to give the Red Hawks now a 3-2 lead. And an offside by Miami trying to come into zone after the center ice draw. I mean, first of all, the power play time just wound down very quickly. 
to see more quickly than expected. And then you had just a perfectly timed clear and a perfectly timed spot where coming across the ice was Max Coyle to steal it away and fire it past Pearson. It was probably caught off guard. There was two Red Hawks back in the zone. I forget who they were, but they were not anywhere near Coyle trying to defend him on the shot. It all happened so fast. So the puck at center ice, two on one the other way, Bowling Green, swank low the right, Hawk line left wing, big shot, big rebound, Pearson to save, and they score again! On the far side, the bouncing puck was put in, and we are tied at three with 11.09 to go in the second period. And this time with a goal for BG was Nathan Burke, their leading scorer. Just like that, the lead's stolen away. The puck was in the Miami offensive zone. Bowling Green quickly working up the near side. Before you knew it, the puck was on Swankler's stick. He had a two-on-one the other way with Nathan Burke. Swankler down the left wing, a big wrist shot. Pat A. Pearson, the big rebound to the far side. The bouncing puck was corralled by Burke. And a backhand shot past the sprawling Pearson in the Miami net to tie the game at three. Nothing Ludwig could do there. There was just nobody to help him out. We had a penalty coming up on Miami, I think, after the center ice draw. There was a bad hit right at center ice on the near side. Or is it against the Falcons? I think it is. Beg your pardon. Bowling Green touched it once in that play. They didn't blow it dead. They blew it dead the second time they touched it. And it's going to be Cole Norris to the box for Bowling Green. And Miami back to the power play here with 11 minutes to go in this second period. So much in so few minutes in this game here in the second. And I'm not sure what the call is here to Norris. And he has contact to the head. So I'm sorry, that hit was in the corner of my eye. Norris hit a Miami player right between the benches on the glass. So after the game was tied following a Miami two goal lead, the Red Hawks back to the power play with a chance to get the lead back. Resock right point, Miami offensive zone, back down below the goal line of Regish. Takes it behind the BG net to the far corner. Very far half wall, through the circle, back down to the goal line. Regis bouncing puck in front, Rose right way over the pads. It's still loose, they still fight for it. Bowling Green will steal it away, and it's Crags off the high glass to center ice. Back in the Miami zone, Dasky having a lot of trouble here against the forecheck. He'll work it free though, and Regis will find Resock. Over the BG line, left wing, poked off his stick to the near side. Grabbed here by Shaquan. Up the left wing, a pass miss. Craggs goes behind Pearson to the Miami net. Dasky far half wall. Ryan Savage for Greesock through the center circle of the BG line, left wing. Greesock to the far half wall, back to the far corner, hits the brakes as he's tampered with there by Eric Parker. Goes back behind the BG net. Ryan Savage near corner, hit from behind, a very nasty hit that will not be called. Back to the left point for Barry. Top of the far circle, walks it in, a wrist shot. Nice chest save by Rose. Goes back to the far point after the rebound. Grease to the near circle for Red Savage. 50 seconds left to the power play for Miami. It's Matt Perry, far half wall, back down to the goal line. Red Savage in front for Regish. A one-time point blank chance and sliding across the crease for the glove save. I don't know how he did it, but Zach Rose kept it out of the net. And it stops play with 9.43 to go in the second. 43 seconds left in the Miami power play. I mean, a textbook one time there, right in front of the net, literally right in front in rows. After that pass came from the far post, slid across the near post and made a nice glove save on the chance. He's kept him in it tonight, that's for sure. Clement right point, Miami still on the power play in the offensive zone. Molten center blue line, far circle of feed, the give and go with Daskus. Back to the line, Molten, high wrister, wide left to the net. Picked up in the near corner by Fletcher, back down below the goal line, Cassetti worked to the left point. With it here is Molten. Back to the right point for Clement, walks in, open wrist shot, instead decides to go down through the slot. Went off a of BG stick to the far corner, Daskus picks it up, 13 to go on the power play. Daskis gloves it down for a circle, goes back to the half wall with a puck. Cassetti came in to rescue it. Clement, right point, got a pass. Down to the near circle of the half wall, Fletcher. Clement, a wrist to red, bouncer in front, they score! Picking up the rebound was Daskis after it came off the pad of Rose. With one second to go in the power play. And it's now 4-3 Miami. The shot came in from the right point by Clement. 
It bounced off the pad of Rose to the far circle. Daskis will one timer to put it over his outstretched right pad on the far post of the PG net. And the Red Hawk power play strikes again. They're now two for three in this game on the power play. And the lead back in the hands of Miami at four to three. And we're just past the halfway point of this game. 8.50 to go in the second. It's been a fun one. Bucket center ice, Bowling Green enters the Miami zone offside on the right side. And we will get immediate timeout here after offside of the play was out of conquest for VG. Take a breath, 8.45 to go in our second period. 4-3 Miami, they lead the shots by a 12-11 margin. Media timeout, and you're listening to Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. We're back at Slater Family Ice Arena on the campus of Bowling Green State University in Bowling Green, Ohio. Patrick gets you with you on Red Hawk Radio tonight. 8.45 to go in our second period. 4-3 Miami, the lead over Bowling Green. A game that in that last sequence between media timeouts, we saw, I believe, three goals. Two for BG, one for Miami. Neutralized face up one by Bowling Green. Left wing of the center ice red line. Malmstrom dumps it in the Miami zone. Goes to the far half wall. Copped off the stick of Barbellini. It's sent to the near half wall where Sladek picks it up. And it's sent to the center ice. Red Savage over the BG line on the right wing. TJ Lloyd strips the puck from him. Kicks it back to center. Sennard with it. And with some room for Miami. He'll decide to dump it in on the right wing of the center ice red line behind the BG net. Our side fights it, gives a pass up on the rush here. Scardina over the Red Hawk line, left wing. He was kind of messed with there through the circle by Sinard. Good defensive play there and was clean. Puck back through the circle here on the near side of the ice. Red Hawks work this one out. Big hit there and open ice on Barbellini by Floyd. They don't call it. Sladek over the BG line right wing. Centery pass just in front of Red Savage in his stick. And it goes to the far half wall where Bowling Green works at a center ice. Here's Colbert in his own end. Near side feed for Pletsky, the D to D look. Pletsky was indirect behind the Miami net to the far side. Clement who rips a pass up the left wing at center ice. Sladek dumps it softly in the BG zone. Miami trying the long second period change. Right side, center ice red line. Bowling Green and over the Miami line right wing and a feed there that came from Norris. Norris with it now in the far circle offensive zone. BG trying to drive to the net. Graham stepped in the way. Back to the line with a puck. Shaquan chips the near circle. Nice pick off there and a pass by Dashke but they call it for a high stick. And that'll stop play with 7.17 to go in the second. That was kind of a weird, like, flip pass by Shaquan. He lifted it up in the air, and then Dasky knocked it down above his shoulders. And so the high stick call will get a draw to the right of Pearson in the Miami zone with 7.17 to go in the second period. Soft are led by Miami tonight, 20 to 15. Monty Graham in this one for the Red Hawks with Austin Swankler, Bowling Green. Another clean win, Miami, but it's stolen away by Burke near corner. And he will fire a pass to the middle, picked off by Chase Pletsky. He'll fire to Olmstead, right side center ice, red light, and dump it in behind the BG net. Falcons turn it over, far half wall. Olmstead cut off a passing lane there after it came off the stick of Swankler. Olmstead trying to rip it deeper in the zone, but it went off a body, I believe, it up and out of play to stop us here with 7.01 to go in the second period. 4-3 Miami on top, game two of the series. Draw to the right of Zach Rose in the BG net. Bring us in this draw for the Red Hawks against Taylor Schneider. And Schneider kind of left in the circle for his own man. They kick it back to center ice. Molten, nice hit here on the man coming down the right wing for BG. That was Colin in over the Red Hawk line. He was stripped to the puck. Drasner, a really bad pass. Well, never mind, we got a penalty coming up here behind the net. 
behind the Miami net. The puck was high in the Red Hawk zone. I did not see what this penalty was. They heard a hit off the end boards. It's going against BG, I know that. I think they got cracks. Something he did below the goal line of the Miami zone. Drasser was the only one there, so he was the victim of the penalty. He got a fine. But I believe we got a boarding call here against Bowling Green. Yeah, it is boarding against Craggs. So the Red Hawks do the power play now for the fourth time in the game. They have scored one power play goal tonight. Chance to take a two goal lead. Miami up four to three with 6.45 to go in the second. Regis near corner of the offensive end after a Red Hawk faceoff win. He's pinned up against the wall. Greasock let it go after he got the battle win momentarily and Bowling Green clears it all the way down the ice into the Miami zone. Dasky mishandled the puck near half wall. Luckily, Greasock was there to rescue it. Otherwise, Fightin would have had a great chance. Barry over the BG line, left wing, hits the brakes, far half wall. Back to the left point, Dasky keeps it in. Greasock right point, walks it down the boards to the corner, looking to pass in front. He'll take it behind the net now. Greasock locked up there with Floyd, who's going to angle him off the puck. Squirts up the half wall at Scardina. Able to clear from there, back to the Miami zone. 1.16 to go in the power play for the Red Hawks. 6.01 to go in the second period. Dasky near wing feed for Ryan Savage. Dishes it back on his own net for Pearson, who was trying to go back to Greasock, but it missed him. Miami regroups here in their own end. It just kills more time off the man advantage. Barry, right side of the center ice red line, cross ice feed over the BG line, left wing, Regis, backhand centering pass, nobody was hold for the Red Hawks in front of the net, Bowling Green will clear this one up the right side, but not out, Regis, far circle, Barry, centering play was blocked by a body, they throw it near circle, off the boards, picking it up, Regis, he's in the near corner of the offensive zone for Ryan Savage, Back down for Regish, who's messed with there by Shaquan on the end boards. They go far corner. Barry, high slot. Dasky a shot just wider than that. He had an open left side. And Rose very lucky that it went wide. Far circle, Ryan Savage. Cross ice near circle. Greasock looking to center it. Craig's laying out the body to block it down with 20 to go in the power play. High slot, Dasky. Far circle, Barry. Completely a swing and a miss and a one-timer. He's got the puck back in the left point. Far point for Dasky, top of the far circle, his shot off a stick, up and out of play. The clock stop with 4.55 to go in the third, second period rather. And seven seconds remain on the Miami power play. So 4.55 to go in the second. Shots are even in this game at 12 apiece. And it's really hard to believe there's only 12 shots you know, on either side in this game because it seems like there's been a lot more offense than that, but you've had a lot of wide shots that haven't hit the net necessarily. Draw to the right of Rose. Red Hawks here winning. Far half wall Dask is backhand play to the far corner. Cassetti on the puck there. The power play will expire. And with it on the far side, O'Hara. Bowling Green a rush. O'Hara over the Miami line, center of the ice. And a shot there from very high in the zone, right to the breath basket of Pearson, who makes the chest stop with 4.43 to go in the second period. We have immediate timeout. Red Hawks four, Bowling Green three. What a hockey game we got going on at Slater Family Ice Arena tonight. More of it when we come back. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Four forty-three remains in our second period of play. Miami four, Bowling Green three. Draw to the right of Pearson coming up. Patrick Essen with you for a Bowling Green Ohio tonight. Falcons win it. One timer was the top of the near circle went through some traffic, then hit bodies in front of the net. Deflected near corner. Now Bowling Green controls the puck offensive zone. They go to the right point. 
Wozni with a puck, now left point. Down low for Burke, behind the net, Swankler trying to go back to Burke near half wall, he'll pick it up here with Subaru. And then coming in, Red Savage to hit him and try to start a battle, Burke emerges with a puck, and this is back to the near wall for Swankler. To the line, Wozni, a weird shot there, kind of a weak wrister just past Pearson on the far post. Red Savage spins the puck out of the zone, slot it for Barbellini. Oh, the BG line left wing poked off his stick there by Swankler. It's behind the BG net, Miami able to steal it away. Red Savage near corner of the Red Hawks offensive end. It's dished back to center ice, though he couldn't connect the pass with Sennard. And Capstick left side of the center ice red line dumps it into the near half wall. Here is Sladek, rims it around behind the BG net to the far corner. Picking it up there is Nathan Burke. He is going to spin it off the boards, back to neutral ice. Red Hawks with it here in their own end, they'll regroup. Siddard hits Holmstead with a pass over the BG line right away. Top of the near circle, grab a shot, rebound and a swing and a miss by Pletsky as the puck in midair. Bowling Green sends it all the way down the ice for their own end. That was a clearing attempt by Nathan Burke for an icing. And they whistle it here as it touched nobody. Bowling Green has five very tired players on the ice right now. And they're gonna have to stay out there for this defensive zone drop coming up for the Falcons. 3.26 to go in the second period. Draw to the right of Rose. Monty Graham will take it for Miami against Austin Swankler, BG. Falcons here just trying to kill as much time as they can. They win the draw, the Falcons through the far corner. They're getting out to center ice. Pletsky far side of the center ice red line dumps it right back in and Bowling Green can't change anymore. Rose behind his net for Bowling Green, trying to lift it up those far boards. He's able to do so. It's Craig's with it, right side of the center ice red line to chip it over the Red Hawk line. Back behind the Miami net, Bowling Green finally able to change. Let's keep far corner. We'll give it up here for Olmstead. He'll chip it over the BG line, left wing behind the net. Rose stops it here for the Falcons in his own end, rims it around the boards to the near half wall. Craig's able to lift it out. Here's Schneider with a puck, chips it over the line, left wing over the Red Hawk line. It goes in on that behind Pearson. It will stick it behind the cage. Dask is near half wall Miami zone. Works it out to center ice. And here's Cassetti. Trying to go over the BG line right wing. That play broken up though on the good defensive stop. Made by Chris Collin. And it's Dasky with it in the zone end for Miami. The far side pass for Moulton. Here we feed it center ice. Dask is over the BG line right away. Play to the middle. Through the circle. The pass could connect with Fletcher. And here comes BG back up the ice. Krieger over the Red Hawk line left wing. Chips in near corner. Miami zone. Drasder leaves it there for Daskis. He will take it far circle. Then spin it around back behind the Miami net. Drasder near corner of the Red Hawk zone. Skates it up the right wing. Gets to the red line. Dumps it in from center ice. It goes back behind the Bowling Green net. Some four checking and battling for it. Miami eventually gets this puck as it squirts up the near side of the half wall on their offensive end. Daskis turned it over near circle. Back to the way because Bowling Green. And here comes Scardina over the Red Hawk line left wing. Near circle feeds Shaquan. Trying to center it back to the right side but locked up there was Fighton who the pass was intended for. Good stick by Greasock. Over the BG line left wing is Red Savage trying to flip it toward the net. It went off a stick. And the Red Hawks work it back to the right point. Sennard, his shot immediately blocked there by Scardina. And it's back at center ice with 1.26 to go in the second period. Over the line on the right wing, the BG line comes Miami. Barry lost the puck to Shaquan. They battle for it near corner of the BG zone. And the Falcons here working up the left wing. But Clement had a wide open shot right point. That was fought off by Rose up high on the wrister. Clement another try right point. That time Rose came up with a big pat save again. And it's kicked to the far half wall and back to center ice. Off of BG stick. A minute to go in the period. Here's Barry over the BG line right away. Drop pass, Clement wide open shot over the net on Rose above his left shoulder. It goes off the high glass to center. O'Hara over the Red Hawk line right away. His shot went off a body behind the net. Squirts near circle, Schneider one shot, two shots, and two big saves by Pearson. The first one generated a big pad rebound, and the second one in his bread basket that he covers up on two good looks there by Spencer Schneider. 42 and a half seconds to go in the second period. It's four to three, Miami. Number 32 in red, that's Pearson, has come up big time tonight. And we said that all year long with him, but obviously you gotta emphasize it every night. Draw coming to Pearson's right in the waning moments of our second period from Bowling Green. You have O'Hara in the draw for Bowling Green against 
Regis of Miami. Clean win, Bowling Green back to the left point. Coyle will spin a wrist shot in on Pearson, who makes another breadbasket save with 38.2 seconds left in the second period. Trot coming back to his right. And then one between Regis and Ryan O'Hara. Bowling Green here, a little line change very late in this whistle, so it's actually going to be Swankler who takes the draw. They get that forward line out. He saw off warning to Regis, who encroached too early, and finally the next one is won by Miami up the near half wall, and they'll get it to neutral ice. Barbellini left wing at center to Ryan Savage over the BG line left wing, a blind centering pass picked off by Burke. He'll feed to Wozni. Having some trouble with it in his own end. Finally gets it up through neutral ice. Left wing Miami line. Norris dumps it in behind the Red Hawk net. Here's Trazer with a puck far circle. And to cross across the Miami zone to the right wing at center ice. Rim it around the boards to the far half wall. We're meeting it there in the Miami offensive zone. Moulton gave it up for Barbellini who gets it deep. Never mind, that was actually out of play. It was deep, but it was out of play. The bouncing puck that Barbellini just let fly too high and it went up and into the netting. On the dump and down the left wing in the Miami offensive zone, and we have seven seconds left in the second period. Neutral ice to rock coming up on the PG right wing closest to their blue line. You have Scardina in it for Bowling Green against Monty Graham. Clean win for Scardina, but the Red Hawks get it back. Left wing at center ice, Daschke. Lifts it high and deep in the far corner of the BG zone, and that will run out the time in the second period. So your score after 40 is Miami 4, Bowling Green 3. Lots of goals, lots of offense was put up in that second period of play. Miami had a 3-1 lead at one point in that second period. Bowling Green scored two in a very short amount of time to make it three to three. And then the Red Hawks answered with a goal following that to make it four to three, your score here after two periods of play from Slater Family Ice Arena. So the scoring summary in that second period, Ryan Savage got the scoring going 547 into the frame to give Miami a two goal lead at that point, three to one. Daschke and Red Savage the assists then at 8.34 into the second period, Max Coyle had that weird, at the end of the penalty kill for Bowling Green, he came out of the box, won the contested puck near circle, Miami zone, put it past Pearson. So Coyle got the goal, the assist to Ben Wozdy, that made it 3-2 Miami. And then let's see, 17 seconds later, 8.51 into that second period, Nathan Burke had the goal for BG. His assist goes to Austin Swankler and Anton Malmstrom. That goal, 17 seconds later from the previous one for Bowling Green, tied the game up at three. And then the tally was added just about two minutes later, two minutes and eight seconds later, at 10.59 into the second period by Thomas Daskus of Miami. On the power play, he scored. The assist on that goal to go to Joey Cassetti and Jack Clement to give Miami the 4-3 lead over Bowling Green. So really all those goals were scored in about a five minute span between the two Miami goals that the Red Hawks put up and the two Bowling Green goals. So after all that, four to three to score in favor of the Red Hawks here after 40 minutes from Slater Family Ice Arena. Other numbers to look at after the second period, the shots on goal led by Bowling Green by a 16 to 14 count. Red Hawks are now one for four in the power play in this hockey game. Bowling Green is one for one. In terms of the faceoffs, Miami is winning that 25 to 19 over Bowling Green. Block shots, the Falcons retake the lead and that counted five to four. And the penalty minutes led by the Falcons tonight at eight to two. And so that's where we are here after 40 minutes of play from Slater Family Ice Arena in Bowling Green, Ohio. A sellout crowd they've had tonight, a very loud sellout crowd. This is a loud building anyway, but they have been treated to a very good hockey game between these two teams, and we expect the third period to be nothing less. Full student section, full general admittance crowd. They pack them in here to Slater Family Ice Arena, they do it well, and that is the case tonight for the Bowling Green home opener on this Saturday from Bowling Green State University. Doing a, a uh, intermission contest. Probably a seven or eight year old kid shot a puck 
in the net from Santa Rice. The place went nuts. They got a local restaurant gift certificate as his prize. Good for him. All right, so after 40 minutes, Miami four, Bowling Green three. We have about a 13 minute break before our third period gets underway as the Red Ox will try to salvage a win out of the home and home series this weekend with Bowling Green following the tie last night in Oxford. So stay with us, 12 minutes or so. We're back with you with third period action. Should be a really good one between Miami and Bowling Green. 4-3, the Red Hawks lead it. Back in a moment, you're listening to Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio.
Patrick gets you back in the air from Slater Family Ice Arena in Bowling Green, Ohio. Teams are taking the ice to begin our third period of play in this 4-3 hockey game led by the Miami Redhawks. Trying to grab their second win of the season. It would be the first since the season opener against Ferris State in terms of the win column for Miami. As they have come in, the Red Hawks have to this game on a four game winless streak following the tie last night with Bowling Green. So Miami trying to come in, grab the road win against the Falcons, their in state rival. Miami leads it four to three. They move right to left across your radio here in our third period. Ludwig Pearson is to my right in his net for Miami. Red Hawks win the center. He's trying to begin the period. Derek Daske will flip it into the Bowling Green zone in the near corner it goes where Colin picks it up on uh, the near half wall and is going to work this one back behind his own net to the far side of center ice. Picked up there by Jack Clement. Works it back over the BG or the Red Hawk line left wing rather comes BG as Colin leaves it in that far corner of the ice for Sam Craggs. Craggs coughed it up there. Daske with it. Spins it around the boards to the right point. Parker picks it up. Fires a shot on the ice, big rebound, they score! Finished in the far circle by Taylor Schneider. And it only took 36 seconds for Bowling Green to tie it at four here in the third period. Pretty standard play, you had your shot come in for the right point on the ice. Big rebound to the far circle, given up by Pearson. Taylor Schneider finished it off with a left-handed shot from the left wing. And the goal fest continues tonight in Bowling Green. Center ice faceoff, won by the Falcons. Lloyd near side, rips it up the right wing at center ice into the Miami zone. The icing is not beaten out by Norris, who had a really good argument for beating it out in the BG offensive end. He had Drasner by about a step, but they call the icing anyway. And the drop coming up for Miami in their offensive zone to the left of number 40 in the BG net. That's Zach Rose. With 44 seconds gone by here in our third period. Bowling Green wins the draw to get it up the ice. Three on two the other way over the Miami line. Left wing, a shot came in there by Norris. And another try coming in after his shot. Picked up a rebound off Pearson's pad. And the second opportunity went wide. Drasner up the far side of the ice. Can't get it out in the Miami zone. It's back in the far circle. Drasner goes to his D-man, his D-partner in Moulton, who gets it back to center ice. And it's shipped in over the BG line right wing by Ryan Savage. Back to the near half wall, Miami offensive zone. Behind that, Regish. Copped it up to the far corner. Malmstrom puts a nice move on to keep control of the puck. Near corner, Lloyd. Lifts it out to center ice through the circle of the Miami line right wing. That's Krieger. Hits the brakes at the right point to get it deep. As Bowling Green and a change will send in reinforcements. Red Hawks work it out up the near side. Bowling Green sends it right back in from center ice. Four check battle on it here in the far corner. You have Fightson who's going to beat out Capstick. Miami some sloppy puck handling behind their own net. We're woken up the near half wall where it's stolen away by Fightson. Back to the right point. The puck squirts free from Coyle. Back to center. Bowling Green regroups in the neutral zone. It's tipped off Coyle's stick right side of the center ice red line back behind the Red Hawk net. Capstick leaves it there. Near corner for Sennard. Two minutes into our third period. Tied at four. Puck loose in the center circle. Picked up by the Falcons. Over the Red Hawk line. Left wing. On a rush is Wozni. And he kind of fan on the wrist shot. Just left of Pearson. Buck squirts over the far side of the ice in the neutral zone. Daskis almost hit Fletcher with a nice breakaway pass. It just missed the heel of his stick. And the Red Hawks here will cough it up to Bowling Green at center ice. Falcons take it, turn it over in their own zone as Cassetti got a nice feed from Parker, a Bowling Green player, but it went off Cassetti's stick back to the near half wall. And the Falcons grab it here in their own end. Schneider crosses his look to the left wing off the stick there of O'Hara. He'll leave it for Cassetti, right wing for Miami at the center ice red line. Buck trickles in behind the BG net. Olmstead will play it over to the far corner. Monty Grant first to it for the Red Hawks. He lost it though as Shaquan came in to steal it away. In front, a quick chance to develop as Olmstead got a deflected puck in front, but a nice pat save on his shot made by Rose. 
It's topped in from center race by Jack Clement. Full five-man change for Miami. The puck into BGN. They'll work it to center. Over the Red Hawk line, left wing. Coming in was Conquest. He was stripped high in the zone by Graham. Miami trying to rush it through the neutral zone. Graham right wing, center ice red line. is running around the boards to the near side of the ice. Bowling Green at center. They will cop it up as Olmstead came in with a nice separating check on Craggs. He'll get out the nine iron to get it far corner of the BG zone. Red Hawks will change again. And it's Lloyd to the near half wall where it's picked off here on a pass from Collin trying to go to center ice. Over the BG line left wing, Barry was stripped of the puck. Taylor Schneider lost it through the center circle for the Falcons. Red Hawks grab it there, right side of the center ice red line. It's up and in behind the Falcon cage. Lloyd spins it around the near board, trying an exit pass, picked off by Moulton. The puck trickles back deep to the near corner of the Miami offensive end. Lloyd is all alone. He's just going to flip it out to center ice. Where it trickles in over the Red Hawk line right wing. Miami controlling their own end, and they'll start to rush the other way. Barry over the BG line right wing. He will lose it at the half wall. Good steal away there. It's some pretty bad puck handling you can see by Barry. And Snard right side of the center ice red line dumps it into the BG zone. Falcons here will clear it right back to Sinard, right side of the red line. And then he got stripped of the puck by Collin. Trips up over the puck, going over the Miami line, left wing, but still ended up with it. It's in the near side of the Miami zone. Greasehawk chips it to the neutral zone. Coyle in his own end for Bowling Green. Dina D, the left wing feed for Wozni, has room to skate it through neutral ice. It's a pass cross ice, near side Burke in the circle, Miami zone. Big shot, the rebound to Pearson. The referee on the far side thought Pearson had it, but he clearly did not. It went off his pad for a big rebound by Burke, who was then going to take it on a wraparound try. And the referee just thought Pearson had it in the glove. He was at a bad angle. He was on the other side of the net. One of those where they can't tell where the puck is. They think the goalie has it, but the goalie doesn't have it. And so everybody's mad here. Inside Slater family ice arena, but referees make mistakes too. And that time Steve McKinchak thought that Pearson had the puck, he didn't. And the Redhawks catch a break. Bowling Green wins the offensive zone draw. Near corner, they go back to the line, a pass five feet left of Wozni at the left point. He'll chase it back to his own end behind the Falcon net with 15.06 to go in the third period. Tie game at four. Falcons trying to work it out of their own end. They're having some trouble. Burke to the middle of the ice for Coyle. Takes it around the far circle. BG zone. Near side pass to Burke. Center ice red line right away. Over the Miami line. Swangler. High slot. Cut in for a shot. Great block by Clement who completely sacrificed his body for that. Clement with it here on the far half wall. The soft chip to center ice. Lloyd within the BGN. The backhand play up the left wing neutral zone. Bowling Green over the Miami line left wing. Swangler top of the far circle. A wreck. That is off the stick of Clement and up and out of play. Back and forth they go at Slater Family Ice Arena. We have a media timeout with 14.35 to go in the third period. 4-4 time, Miami and Bowling Green. And you're listening to Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Fourteen thirty-five remains our third period. Miami and Bowling Green tied at four. Game two of this home and home series. Patrick Eschen with you on Red Hawk Radio. Ludwig Pearson, the draw coming to his right in the Miami net. Joey Cassetti wins it back to the far corner of the Miami zone. P.J. Fletcher turns it over, trying to clear it up the faraway boards. Scardina there had it stripped for a moment by Dasky. Red Hawks work it out to center ice, all the way down the ice at the left side for an icing call on a bad pass. Dasky trying to go to Fletcher, and they could not connect. 14-21 to go in our third period. Bowling Green has opened up the shots lead, by the way, 21 to 14. And it was a very even shots category the first two periods, but since we started the third, Bowling Green has taken a seven-shot lead over Miami. 
Draw to the left of Pearson and the Red Hawks end. T Taylor Schneider for Bowling Green against Joey Cassetti. And we got a false start on this draw. The referee dropped the puck. Schneider reacted. Cassetti did not. And they just blow the face off that for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. So they'll do it again. To the left of Pearson. Taylor Schneider gets a face-off warning. And now they'll finally drop it. Bowling Green wins it back, but Fletcher picked it up on the far wing for Miami. Gets to the red line, center ice, red line on the right wing. Dumps it in behind the net. It spun around to the near half wall. Collin with it here for Bowling Green. And tie up with Daskus. Near side of the half wall here in the zone. Buck squirts through the circle as Miami has a nice steal away there by Cassetti who angled off Crags behind the BG zone. They get it back deep behind the BG net. Daskus loses the battle with Lloyd right behind the BG cage. And Lloyd will get out the pitching wedge to get it to center ice after Cassetti did a, a nice hit on him. And the Falcons enter the Miami zone offside on the right wing. Kind of a botch play there for Bowling Green. Miscommunication. They had a couple guys in the zone before the puck. Gerard coming up in neutral ice. The Miami left wing closest to their blue line. Bonnie Graham uh, against Austin Swankler. Derek Daske is talking with Steve McKinjack, one of the referees. On the far side about something. That will break up. Daske to the bench. And we will play on with 13.47 to go in a tie game. Third period for Bowling Green. Face-off warning to Monty Graham. And then the second face-off, one of the far side by Miami. Trasner picks it up the right wing. Graham trying to chop it in the Bowling Green zone over the right side of their line. He will do so. Back behind the net where it's stopped by Rose. Miami will bring on the forecheck. Buck spun around to the near side. Off the stick of Olmstead. Back down to the Miami end. Near corner, Moulton trying to win a battle with Swankler as they tie up for it against the boards. Bowling Green wins it. Burke up the near circle, hits the brakes, returns back down to the corner, then will spin a centering pass over behind the net. Swankler with it here for Bowling Green, tied up with Olmstead behind the cage. Wrapped around to the right point, Parker's on it, slides it left point, big shot came in over the net, off the stick there of Shaquan. And Miami picks up the rebound, lifts it out to center ice. Big hit there on the far side between Monty Graham and Ben Wozni. And this is going to be an offside on Bowling Green. They try to dump it back in the zone, but there was a player in the zone who never thought it came out of Norris. He clearly did. He was kind of a deer in headlights there. Offside against the Falcons, put to draw the far side of the ice. Closest to the Miami blue line. Last night got very chippy in the later stages of the game, and tonight is going to be the same story, it appears. Clean win, Bowling Green. They're going to rip this puck into the Miami zone on the near wing. Coyle around to the far boards. Sinard first to it for the Red Hawks. Bowling Green has forechecked very well in the series. They continue to do so on the Red Hawks. Puck turned over far half wall. Sinard with it in the circle. Feeds Karisok near wing. Skating backwards, works into center ice. And right in on Rose in the Bowling Green net. You had Red Savage chasing it down. He made a stop in front of Rose. Rose had to cover the puck up. And it stops play with 12.37 to go in the third period. Rose has the draw coming to his right in the BG net. Red Savage in the draw for Miami. Up against Ethan Scardina. Clean win back to the left point. Caps to keeps it in. Near half wall Barry. Far point Sinard with some time and room. He will just let it go off his stick right to Krieger, who puts it off the boards back to center ice in the right wing. Red Hawks grab it here. Barry cuts across the neutral zone. Gets Karisak. He'll chip it in over the BG line left wing. Back behind the net. Wazdy for it for Bowling Green. He'll rip it around the board to the near half wall. Grabbing it there with Fighton. Played it middle. Krieger near circle. BGN will get it out of the zone. Back to center ice. And the Falcons work it over the Red Hawk line right wing. Dumped it in the near corner by Krieger. He'll chase the puck against Dasky. Dasky first to it. Rims it around the boards to the far half wall. Red Hawks will get it out from there. Here's Red Savage, rush the other way. Left side feed for Greesock over the BG line. Opens up toward the middle, leaves it there for Barry. Left point, skates it down the near boards. He'll go to the circle, try to cut to the middle. Doesn't have an angle. The pass in front off a stick. Goes to Daschke, left point. He cannot keep in a bouncing puck. And he'll have to chase it back to the Red Hawks head. Daschke the give and go with Clement. Down to 11 and a half to go in the third period. Clement out of his own end for Miami. The right side feed off Barry Skate back behind the Falcon cage. Rose will stop it. 
Leave it there for Floyd. Wrapped around the boards near wing. Falcons get it out of the zone. Here's Taylor Schneider over the red hawk line, middle of the ice. Crags near circle, in the middle of the shot. Big save by Pearson. A point blank snapper by Colin right in front. Red Hawks over the BZ line right side of the ice. Here is Regis. Takes it in the near corner. Didn't have an angle on the net. So Schneider now with it. That's Taylor Schneider for Bowling Green who coughs it up near corner for Barbellini. Takes it behind the BG net in front for a one-time chance. And Ryan Savage saved by Rose. Right into his chest. Two huge stops by either goaltender here in these last 10 seconds or so with 10.57 to go in the third period. The clock stops. That time Barbellini behind the net just fed Savage at the rim of the right circle close to the BG cage. A beautiful one-time chance. Rose right there to make the save. So the draw coming to Rose left. Daskus in it for Miami. He'll take on Bowling Green's Austin Swankler. Clean win Red Hawks. He's in it behind the Bowling Green net. To the near corner it goes and up the near half walk is set. He took a nasty hit from behind there by Burke, but it was kind of unintentional. They don't call it. Swankler over the line right away for Bowling Green in the offensive zone. Dishes it to the slot. Burke with a great offensive stop there by Cassetti. Stole away a shot attempt. Taskis over the BG line right away. He's in the circle. Goes back to the slot. The pass intended for Cassetti. Picked off by Burke. He's over the Miami line. Left wing in the circle. No angle to the net. So he goes behind it. In front of shot. They score. The goal will go to number 12, Austin Swankler. And Bowling Green takes a 5-4 lead with 10.22 to go in the third period. Behind the net with the puck. They centered it in front. It went off of Pearson, bounced up in the air, and Swankler finished it off on the left post. Nothing Ludwig could do on that. It was simply a matter of Miami not having enough defensemen back to cover the front of the net. And the Red Hawks trail in this game. 5-4 in the third with 10-20 to go in the period. Bowling Green wins the center ice draw. Near side, Coyle. Skates it up through center ice. Off of Collins stick over the Red Hawk line right away to the near corner of Miami zone. Siddharth for Capstick. Over the far corner. Off the high glass, reaches center ice. BGN, they'll fire it back in the Miami zone. Capstick back to grab it near corner for the Red Hawks. So how does Miami respond to some adversity here in the most probably loud environment they played in all year? Ryan Savage over the line of the left wing. In the near circle, behind the BG net. Back to the far circle he goes. Leaves it there for Clement, who rims it right back around the boards behind the Bowling Green net. Bombs are far half wall, stripped to the puck was Craggs. And he'll lift it off the roof, trying to go back to center ice. Media timeout, 9.35 to go in the third period. And the draw will be in the BGN when we come back. Bowling Green will take the lead on the tally by Austin Swankler. And it's five to four Falcons as we're just past the halfway point of the third frame here in BG. Back in a moment, you're listening to Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. They're getting them fired up here in BG. 9.35 to go in the third period. 5-4, the Falcons lead the Red Hawks. Toronto Rose left coming up in the BG net. It'll feature Bonnie Graham against Ethan Scardina. Scardina, the clean win for Bowling Green in the far corner of their zone where they work it out at the left point. Graham gets it center ice, red line right wing. He'll chop it right back into the BG end. And the Falcons here near a circle trying to get it out against a strong Miami four check. They finally do. Up the right wing at center. 
Clement chases over to grab the puck in the neutral zone, trying to hit Olmstead in front of the Miami bench left wing. He'll go back to Clement in the Red Hawk zone. Clement, the left wing feed off Olmstead's stick over the BG line left wing behind the net. Spun around the boards by Rose, the goaltender behind his cage. And the Falcons get it out through center ice. Daski will send it right back through the circle after he got in the Miami zone momentarily. Graham near wing will fire it over the BG line left side to the far corner of the offensive zone for Miami. Olmstead first to it, lost to battle though to Malmstrup. Puck comes out to the right point. A shot came in from Trazer off a stick and over the net. Red Savage near corner, can't connect on a pass with Greesock. Stealing it away was Chris Collin. And now a tie-up for near half wall Miami offensive end. It squirts out up the boards, back to the Red Hawks zone for an icing call against Bowling Green. I didn't see who fired it down there, but it must have been somebody just let it loose against the near boards. And it went down for an icing call here with 8.30 left in the third period. Timeout is called by Bowling Green now as they could not change after the icing and these guys were out here for about a minute defending their zone after that media timeout whistle. The media timeout came with 9.35 to go. There's now 8.30 to go in the third period. So a one minute, five second shift, not really the liking for Ty Eigner and his squad. So Ty Agner decides to use the timeout for Bowling Green. They're only one with 8.30 left in the third period. Shots are led by the Falcons 24 to 15. We thought it was gonna be a defensive series the way these two teams like to play. In your face, they have great goaltending. It's really been the offenses that lack for both sides coming into this weekend. I mean, Bowling Green only put up a few goals against RPI in Troy a couple weekends ago, and then the Red Hawks didn't have the best offensive weekend last week at Michigan State, scoring two goals combined in both games. But this one is 5-4 BG here with eight and a half to go in the third period. It's right to the right of Rose after this timeout. So Bowling Green has some more rested guys out on the ice. Red Savage in the drop for Miami against Taylor Schneider. BG win in the circle. O'Hara lifts it off the glass all the way down the ice to the near corner of the Miami zone where Moulton first to it. He crashes in the boards with Craggs. Moulton goes down. He's got the puck under him. They try to dig after it. And finally it comes free. Bowling Green with it here in the near corner of their offensive end. Craggs dumps it over to the far side in the corner. Barry trying to work there with Taylor Schneider. Schneider's got it locked up against the boards with a skate. Now Drazner emerges with a puck. Gives it off for Red Savage, still in that far corner. Red Hawks here will pump it out of the zone for a second. Bowling Green's gonna work it back in. Behind the net with a puck. Here is Taylor Schneider. He's gonna skate it up the near wing boards for Lloyd. His shot went off of a skate in the circle. It was loose in front for a moment. Kick back behind the net as Red Savage chips it up the boards far side for Barry. He got lit up by Taylor Schneider behind the play. No call, Drazner just got boarded. And he's hurt, that's a call. Far side Malmstrom with that hit, and Robbie Drazer's down on the ice. Barry comes in to try to shove some guys. Shenanigans going on far side of the BGN. And Robbie Drazer's grabbing his head in front of the penalty boxes, face down on the ice. He's moving. Drew Ruckelshaus will come out. But that was just not a good hit. Drazer was flat out boarded there by Malmstrom on the far side. It has gotten chippy. Like I said, later on in this game, it was the same way last night. And you just got to hope all the best for Robbie Drasner here because Miami is already down four defensemen this weekend for injury. So if Drasner is out, it means five defensemen would be done for Miami. That means you only have seven that could play defense, which is less than the usual eight that you dress for a game when times are normal. Drasner is still face down on the ice, so Malmstrom's in the box. It's probably going to be, you would hope, a little bit more than a two-minute minor. Robbie's up. He's going to skate over toward the Miami bench. Ruckelshaus grabbing his jersey, and then he'll let go, so Drasner on his own power skates, shaking up and gingerly toward the Miami bench, but he appears to be all right, it seems, but obviously the head stuff, you want to be careful, and Drasner's going to go right back to the Miami locker room. 
So he will exit the game with 7.30 left in our third period, and both referees, Derek Burkbile and Steve McKinchak, will look at this on the monitor in the penalty box. The play was coming up the right wing boards. It was right in front of the BG line on the right wing in the neutral zone when Drazer was carrying the puck against the board, skating with it, and Malmstrom just came right in and blew him up. Drazer was probably about a foot away from the boards. And so the hit just sent Drazer that foot through the air off the boards. His body was level, meaning horizontal. When he hit the boards right in front of the Bowling Green penalty box. And Malmstrom's not really a small guy either. He's 6'4", 203. So you can just tell the force there on Robbie Drasner, who stands at 6'1", 195. Still a look at this on the monitors in the penalty box for the referees. So seven and a half to go in the third period. Bowling Green five, Miami four. And the question is how long will this power play be for Miami? A power play that has produced one goal tonight for the Red Hawks. So we have the helmets back on for the referees. They will talk it over just a little bit here in the box and then come out to give us our call. For a very eager crowd awaiting this message from Derek Burkbile. Is Mike. <laughs> Yep, five in a game to Malmstrom. For contact to the head they rule. So I guess in the video he targeted Trazner's head. So Malmstrom will exit the ice in the near corner to an applause from the Bowling Green student section. And Miami has a five minute power play here with 7.30 to go in the third period and the Red Hawks trail by a goal. I don't even need to say how big this moment will be for the Red Hawks. Face off, clean win to the right of Rose. Dasky with it, right point. Sends it over to Greesock, goes in direct to the right point again for Dasky. Middle blue line will skate it. Right point, it's a shot by Greesock. Big rebound in front after Rose made a save with his chest. That's kicked to the corner. And with it here is Regas coming in for Miami. The puck stolen from him and cleared all the way down the ice by Taylor Schneider. 4.32 to go in the power play for Miami. They'll rush it up out of their own zone. Dasky the drop pass back for Matthew Berry. Over the BG line left wing. The play broken up, stolen away by Scardina. Kicks it back to center ice. Dasky the pass over to Ryan Savage. Gets over the BG line on the left wing down to the near corner. Greesock will chase after Coyle in the far corner. He'll go off the boards. Dasky made a nice soccer move to keep it in with his foot at the right point. But it bounced off his skate right to a Falcon who cleared it back on Pearson. Serving the penalty for Bowling Green, I believe is Krieger. I'll have to check on that here. No, it's number eight, Chris Collin, as Miami with it back behind their own net. Chris Collin is in the box to serve the five-minute major committed by Malmstrom. Dylan Moulton out of his own end for Miami, chips it over the BG line left wing, rims it around the boards to the far half wall where it's Daskis grabbing it for the Red Hawks. They tie up in a battle, far corner. Three Miami players, three Falcons in there. It's up against the skate of Ben Wasti. He jammed it against the boards and they'll just blow this play dead. As nothing was moving there, the draw to the left of Rose in the Bowling Green zone with six to go in the third period, even. 3.31 to go in this power play for Miami. The power play's been good this year. It's been strong for the Red Hawks. But is it strong enough to change the direction of this game tonight in a critical moment? Draws one by Bowling Green behind the net. Coyle will rim it up the near wing boards. Crags gets it back to center. And Clement will chase it back in his own end for the Red Hawks. He'll spin it around the boards, far side, Miami zone. Cassetti's on it there. He's going to kind of take a breath, regroup in the Red Hawks end. The pass to Clement. Near side feed, Moulton. Reaches the center ice red line over the BG line, left wing. Now to Daskis, top of the far circle. His shot goes well wide of the net. It corralled off the end boards, right back to Rose on his left post. And he makes the cover next to the BG cage with 5.32 to go in the third period and 3.03 to go in the power play. 
Obviously, you have the stoppage and the, the review and all that from the Drazner penalty, the, the penalty that was committed on Drazner by Malmstrom. It kind of sucked the energy out of the building a little bit, so the Red Hawks, can they use that to their advantage here? Far circle Perry, his path to the middle, picked off by Scardina. Two on two the other way, Scardina over the Red Hawk line, left wing. Trying to make a move on Daski, who sent him wide behind the net. And Miami grabs it there with room to skate. Greesock up the far side of his zone for the Red Hawks. Leaves it in the neutral zone for Ryan Savage. Daski through the center circle. Left wing feed, Regish can't get it over the BG line. The Falcons steal it away. It's set all the way down the ice by Scardina. We have 4.56 to go in the third. Miami's power play time down to 2.23 to go. Ryan Savage far side. To Barry to the near wing for Regish in a 5-4 game led by Bowling Green. And something happened down there on the left wing of the BG line as the puck squirted out of play on Regish's attempt to dump it deep in the zone. 4.46 to go in the third, 2.17 to go in the Miami power play, 5-4 Bowling Green. This gives me an offensive zone draw for Miami, they say. Bowling Green doesn't like this call, and obviously they have a right to because it was technically in the neutral zone that that puck went out when Miami was trying to enter the BGN. So all four officials will conference on this because originally they have the draw here to the right of Rhodes in the BG net. And they will rule that the faceoff goes to neutral ice on the Bowling Green right wing closest to their blue line. Scardina will take it for the Falcons against Joey Cassetti of Miami. Clean win, Red Hawks back to the near side of their center ice area. Moulton slides it over to Clement. He's over the BG line right wing, chips it off the end board to the near corner of the BG zone. Scardina leaves it there for Wazdi, rims it around the board, saved in right point by Clement, then stolen away by Fighton. And Moulton has to come cross ice to win the puck from Fighton to take away a breakaway. Red Savage far half wall Miami zone with 150 to go in the power play. Over the BG line left wing and they were offside by a mile. Cassetti jumped ahead of the puck. And a neutralized truck coming up here. 417 to go in the third period. 148 to go in the power play. 5-4 Bowling Green. Draw features Regis for Miami against Taylor Schneider, Bowling Green. Clean win, Regis. Greesock gets it back behind the BG net. Spun around the boards by Rose. Picked off far half wall by Greesick. Craig shoved him off the puck. It's loose in the circle. Red Hawks get it back to the line for Daski. Near circle, Barry in front. What a save by Rose as Savage had a one-time chance. And Rose barely got his glove over to make the save. It's set back down the ice by Craig's off the rebound. Into the Miami end. Put that on Sports Center tomorrow. Over the line, left wing. Comes Regis, the BG line. Dumps it into the Falcon zone far corner. Ryan Savage pins a man up against the boards in a battle. It's Max Coyle. It's a three on three battle now. Puck squirts right out in front of the BG net. Nathan Burke right there to dump it down the ice behind Pearson. You have one minute left in the Miami major power play. 324 to go in your third period. Redox near neutral ice. Karisak over the BG line, left wing. A pass over the stick at Cassetti. Regains control off the board, spins it around to the far corner of the BG zone. Or it's poked to the near side of the ice off the stick of Shaquan. One against two battle, Cassetti and two Falcons. Bowling Green wins that as Cassetti had no support in the near corner. They'll clear it down the ice. And Pearson leaves it back for Barry behind the net. 2.58 to go in the third. 27 seconds left the Miami power play. Barry over the Falcon line, middle of the ice. We'll rim it around the boards to the near half wall. Picked up there, Cassetti. Leaves it left point for Daski. He'll spin it back behind the net. To the far side for Matt Barbellini. Picks it up in the hash marks against the wall. Far side. Trying to get up after his knockdown by Wozni. Six to go on the power play. Daski keeps in a clearing attempt. Right point, Clement, as the time expires in the power play. Barbellini back to the line. Clement, he keeps it in the zone. Barbellini near side, Barry. They pass over his stick. Five on five we go. Crags at center ice. There's 2.20 left in the third period and it's 5-4 Bowling Green. 
Schneider left point, Bowling Green offense his own, turn the puck over, Dasky with it in his own end, gets out the 9-iron to chip it all the way down the ice, back to the BG zone, and they call an icing on Miami. And this crowd is on their feet. And they are all standing up. Applauding the effort by Bowling Green, who kills off the major power play. They're playing physical, they're playing fast. They, at this point, have overcome a 4-3 lead at the start of the third period to take a 5-4 lead in the game. You have 2.07 to go in the third period, and Chris Bergeron will use his timeout before a defensive zone draw comes up to the right of Pearson. Last time these teams met here at Slater Family Ice Arena it was in 2019. Miami won that game as the Red Oaks and Falcons in 2019 split a home and home series with each other with the road team winning each game. Miami came into this meeting 23 and three in the series in the last 26 meetings. But the momentum has changed this weekend for sure. The Bowling Green crowd is on their feet. Two minutes, seven seconds left in your third period. We'll watch for Pearson as Miami trails Bowling Green five to four. Draw to Pearson's right. Regis Schmidt for Miami against Austin Swankler. In the far circle, Miami zone. Clean win, Red Hawks in a behind their net. Wrapped around the boards by Moulton. Near side for Grease Soccer. They're going to pull Ludwig Pearson. As Park within his zone end, the Red Hawks enter the zone offside. As Grease Soccer had trouble getting it in over the left wing, Barry jumped ahead of the line about an inch forward. They whistle the play dead. Pearson was going to go back to his net, I believe. Never mind, it's a media timeout here with 1.58 to go in the third period. We'll keep it right here for the media timeout. 5-4 the lead for Bowling Green over Miami. Shots are led in this game by a 25-17 count if you're Bowling Green. So I guess the storyline tonight, if you're the Red Hawks, you start another game off well, like you did last night against Bowling Green. Red Hawks were definitely the better team in the first period of this game. The scoreboard showed it. But then as the second period has gone on, as the third period has gone on, like we were talking about last night, that's when the dial turns back down for Miami. And things kind of get less and less in terms of the energy, the grip, whatever word you want to use. And that is what occurred again tonight. So it's been a consistent problem. Redux are starting games well, they're not finishing games well. And you could say in that power play, the major power play tonight, there was just a lack of Spark. So no team has any timeouts left. 158 to go in the third. 5-4 Bowling Green. Trying to grab a win in this home and home series. They win a neutralized draw. Get it to the far corner of the Miami zone. Derek Dasky first to the puck. Gives it up for Clement behind the net. Turnover. Taylor Schneider trying to jam it in on Pearson. And Ludwig there with the pads to cover it. Stops the clock with 145 to go in the third. The puck was bouncing all over the place. Below the goal line near the Miami net. Schneider got control of it. Taylor Schneider for Bowling Green. Brought it right to the right pad of Pearson. Had a few whacks at the puck. Ludwig stood tall. Keeping a one goal game. Draw coming to his right. 145 to go in the third. 5-4 the Falcons lead it. Regis and Swankler in this draw. Swankler will win it, but it's taken over on the near side by Greasock. Pearson is pulled. Red Hawks get it in on Rose. The blocker saved to the near half wall. Six on five. Miami the empty net. 133 to go in the third period. Pearson's out. Behind the net is the puck. Barry wraps it around the glass to the near half wall. Kept in at the left point by Ryan Savage. He tried to get it deep. That was picked off by Swankler. The puck stays in the zone. Regish, right point Dasky through the circle. Leaves it for Barry. Back to the line. Center blue line. Clement the shot. Off his skate. Bowling Green will get it out to center. Two on one the other way. Burke, right wing over the Miami line. Spins around and fires it into the Red Hawk net. No goal, they say. Why? Offside. 
Never mind, no goal. It's a 5-4 game still with 105 to go in the third period. Burke like spun around basically and made that shot. The Brian Palazzo move, if you have followed Miami hockey consistently over the last 10 years. And he was offside in doing so. So Burke, when he spun around, literally on the near side of the Miami line, his feet went over the line before the puck did when he spun around a 360 and fired it into the Miami empty net. So the offside call takes back the goal. 5-4 Bowling Green, 105 to go in the third. Pearson back in the cage. This neutralized Chirac closest to the Miami line on the Red Hawks left wing. Cassetti in it for Miami against Taylor Schneider. Cassetti wins it back to the Red Hawks zone. Moulton fires it over to Red Savage. They're going to pull Pearson now with a minute to go in the third period. Dylan Moulton reaches the red line center ice, dumps it off the glass, and they say it was out of play. There's a curved piece of glass at the end of the Bowling Green bench that is inside of the Bowling Green zone, and they say that when it was fired off that glass, it was out of play. And they're going to put the face off at center ice. Top break for Moulton. 53.8 left in the third. Bowling Green five, Miami four. Red Savage at the center ice face off with Taylor Schneider. Pearson is back in the Miami net for the moment. Tie up four in the center circle. Crags works it back to Floyd, back to Crags, far side, neutral ice. Redox steal it away. Fletcher on the BG line, middle of the ice. They pull Pearson back to six on five. 41 to go. Bowling Green clears it to center from below their goal line. Cassetti for Fletcher center circle. Can't get control. He will get it over the BG line left wing, but it was a diving attempt to get it out by Coyle. Back in the Miami zone with the puck is Red Savage. 25 to go. Red Savage with it through the center circle. Chips it over the BG line right wing. Can't hit Fletcher with a pass. Bowling Green gets it out to center ice. And they fade it ahead for an empty net. Break away. Cole Norris finishes it off with 14.8 seconds to go in the third period. Six to four. Bowling Green on top. Center ice draw, Pearson back at his net. Monty Graham over the BG line, middle of the ice, got kicked back to the neutral zone. Capstick fires it in on Rose with six to go. And Miami was offside, I guess. Nobody or somebody did not get out of the zone on that dump and attempt. And it stops the clock with 4.7 seconds to go in the third period. Shots favor Bowling Green, 27 to 17 in the hockey game. And they're about to win game two of the series. Neutralized draw, Red Hawks win it with one to go into the BG zone, that'll do it. And the Falcons take game two of the series to go 1-0-1 in the series against the Miami Red Hawks. Their final night from Bowling Green. Falcons six, Red Hawks four. The unbeaten streak for Miami is going to grow to five games, or the winless streak, I should say, will grow to five games. So the Red Hawks' record after this one, 1-4-1. One, one. Bowling Green is now 2-0-2. Oh, so they are still unbeaten to start the year. And in their home opener tonight, here at Slater Family Ice Arena, the Falcons come through with a big time win. 6-4 of the Miami Red Hawks. Bowling Green finishes it off with three unanswered in the third period, including that empty netter by Norris. So, you gotta use one word to describe Miami's play tonight. You can pick. You could say disappointing, you could say it lacked energy, you could say it was strong at times, you could say, yeah, there are positives to take away from the weekend. We, we're saying that 
for every weekend so far of the year. There were positives this weekend, but it's a results business, as you like to hear from the Miami locker room. And the results say that the Red Hawks are 1 4 and 1 to start the year. Bowling Green will salute their fans at center ice. The Falcons are off and running this year again, 2 0 and 2 to start it. Their final shots on goal led by Bowling Green, 27 17. And the Red Hawks go back to Oxford for a weekend off next weekend. NCHC play starts for Miami at Omaha on November the 5th and 6th. That's two weeks from now. They're back home against North Dakota on November the 12th and November the 13th. Bowling Green next weekend, they head to Bemidji State to start CCHA play. Four games on Friday the 29th, Saturday the 30th. And then the next time the Falcons are at home is two weeks from now as Rico Blasi's St. Thomas Tommies come into Slater Family Ice Arena for a series on November the 5th and 6th. So thank you for, so much for joining us tonight from Bowling Green, Slater Family Ice Arena. If you're in for Miami, you might not be feeling so great right now, but we appreciate you joining us tonight as the Red Hawks fall in another tough one this evening, 6-4, your final against Bowling Green. We will next talk to you, I guess, for hockey on November the 12th as the Red Hawks will battle North Dakota at home in the first of that series with the Fighting Hawks. In our next sports broadcast period, will come your way November 9th for Miami football at home against Buffalo. That's a Tuesday night matching game right here on Red Hawk Radio. So until then, everybody, we thank you so much for joining us this weekend. 6-4, your final tonight from Bowling Green. 6-4, the Falcons take it over the Red Hawks. And well played night by the Falcons. Patrick Eschen saying so long and good night from Slater Family Ice Arena here in Bowling Green, Ohio. As Miami falls to 1-4-1 one, one on the year. And uh, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. So 6-4, your final tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great rest of your weekend, everybody. And we'll see you next time for Miami Hockey right here on Red Hawk Radio. Good night.